All right, everyone. Um, it's still Sunday. Um, Sunday evening, getting late. I have work in the morning, and I don't think I'll be doing much more tonight. Um, I've done more than I intended today to this uh, A600. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with progress, although I realise that the um, the real work is yet to commence, i.e. the um, motherboard. Um, I've had a look on YouTube and about taking the keys out. And you can actually get these tools for specifically for the purpose. And uh, I've I've opted to go for the wire variety, where you have a uh, two long bits of wire which hook underneath each key, and then you pull it up and it pulls a key off. Now I've ordered one up, but it's coming from Hong Kong, so that'll be at least two weeks, maybe longer, before I tackle this. Um, I'm not in any rush because I realise that there is quite a lot of work to be done here over on the motherboard. I've still got to uh, strip and clean the um, floppy disk drive and um, I need to get some IPA. Now I heard a chap talking about IPA on, on a YouTube video the other day and I didn't know what IPA was. Uh, and it's basically isopropyl. I, I struggle to, to pronounce the the word, but it's isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. Basically, it's a pure form of alcohol with very little um, uh, con um, talk, not contamination in it. It's it's very clean, and they use it for you know cleaning surgical tools and such like so uh, it's also quite often used in cleaning um, motherboards because it evaporates quickly and uh, leaves a, leaves no residue on it so I've ordered up or I will be ordering up a couple of bottles of that um, because I find I'm needing some sort of cleaning fluid quite regularly Normally I'd use pet roll or meths or something like that, uh, you know, just for cleaning paint brushes and stuff. But um, I can't really use that on on this sort of stuff because it would leave a residue. Uh, I think well, pet, pet roll certainly would. I'm not so sure about meths, but um, it's this IPA that everybody uses, so I'll, I'll get the same. Um, the, the floppy disk drive, it must be manky, yeah. It, you know, it must need a clean. I'm pretty sure it will. So I'll I'll take that apart and clean it up. And I've seen guys that you know quite often you'll have a a, a small um, sort of I don't know how to describe it threaded shaft that. Um, drives part of the mechanism and that often needs a little bit of oil um, so I'll, I'll get I'll need to deal with that that's enough on the floppy disk drive now um, I'll recap what I've done today so far um, I've, I've covered it all in previous videos but you know that's the the um, the top cover now it's looking nice and clean not bright white but it's not yellow it's a sort of nice cream color and that was the original sort of color of it the bottom here is maybe slightly yellower uh, but it's not too bad I'm happy with that I've maybe missed a little bit there actually there seems to be a slight line in it I don't know if the camera's picking that up the inside's nice and clean. 
no dust or crap anywhere. So that's come out nice. Um, cleaned up the trap door as well. It was manky. So it's there's some scratches in the base of it, but nothing too noticeable. And it's in the base, so I'm not too bothered. So that's done. Now, the thing that you might not be aware of, I don't think I did a video on any of this, is the um, RF shield. I've uh, really had a go at it. I've taken as much as a, of the, as much of the rust off as I can get to. Um, I've really had a good go at it. Uh, you know, there's obviously still evidence of the corrosion that's taken place in the metal, but um, I've removed as much of the corrosion as I could. Um, now the top section here was the least corroded, but um, it's looking nice and bright again. There's a little bit in there that I've missed. I've never noticed that bit. I need to get that tomorrow now, cause I'm, or maybe next weekend, because I'm past past it tonight. But yeah, that's very clean now, really. A little bit irritated with that little bit yeah, I missed there. So that's the top and the base got a similar um, going over. Um, it's not as nice because it's obviously suffered a, a higher level of corrosion. But again, I've gone over every, or tried to go over every millimetre of the um, tin, you know, and there's bits here that could maybe be improved upon, but I'm struggling to get into some of these areas, uh, even with the Dremel. Um, I could maybe try something else, or maybe a different day um, wire wheel or something something that's got better reach but that's quite nice well I say nice it's a lot cleaner than it was you know um, this was this corner was the worst affected and I've taken that right back so yeah I can't have you know, I, I can't, uh, nobody can put steel back to, once rust is in that material, you can't really get rid of it. But I've had a good go at it. Eh? So, I don't know what the next step is after this. Will it be primer and a tin of silver paint? Or will it be? It's likely going to be primer, eh? because going down the root off. Um, buying an ultrasonic bath and large enough to take these same um, pieces of tin and then making up a, a, um, a bath if you want to call it that for doing electrolysis uh, it's going to take a lot of time and money which I don't really have right now but I would kind of like to do it I was just thinking would it be possible to anodize it you know make it a nice a nice color you could make it gold color or silver color maybe a blue color you know it's an idea 
So, hey, that's a bit us for tonight. Um, I might tinker with this keyboard yet. Uh, it could maybe be dismantled a bit, a bit further than it is. These screws could be taken out. But I think I'll leave that until I'm ready to do so. Uh, on second thoughts, the motherboard. Uh, it needs to be cleaned, but I'm I'm waiting for the IPA. I've got some cotton buds buds to uh, over the weekend for cleaning it up, but I need a, a suitable cleaning fluid, so that'll have to wait as well. Um, so I'm waiting for the IPA for the the motherboard, and w once it's clean, it's high, highly likely I'm going to need to replace some of these caps or. Um, do some sort of preventative repair work on it. Uh, so yeah, I think that's us. Um, I've had it for one day, folks. I've been at this most of the afternoon, on and off. So um, an hour and a half went into the cleaning the um, RF shield. So that maybe two hours, in fact, in total. Plus it was a lot of editing, not editing so much, but processing of videos and uh, compressing them for upload. So uh, yeah, I've done is it five videos today, I think. So uh, that will have to do you for a while. I know you'll watch them in an hour or two, but that hour or two is taking a day, or a day to record and get up there for you you know so um and i'm i'm not gonna be able to do anything through the week i don't think so uh, maybe a bit more the next weekend depending on how much free time i've got i'm keen to crack on with this i don't want this to tell stall i want to get the ipa home i want to, uh, the the tool for the keyboard i'm that's going to delay me possibly I'm hoping it's not going to be longer than two weeks, but it can sometimes be three or four weeks from Hong Kong. I could certainly get the, just thinking out aloud here now, I'm getting tired. I'm dawdling a little bit somewhat. Once I get the IPA, I can clean the motherboard. I can get on with cleaning the floppy disk in the meantime. And there's elements of the keyboard that I could clean possibly or dismantle before removing the keys. Um, and I need to maybe think about what I'm going to do with the RF shield. Primer and tennis silver paint maybe. Um, so yeah, I think that's enough for one night. I'm, 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 I need to get in my bed. Uh, thanks for watching my videos folks uh, thumbs them up thumb them up if you like them and don't forget to subscribe and I'll try to keep the content coming um, yeah bye for now